hello today I will be showing you guys how I tint my paper and make it look like it's from an old fairy tale book so obviously the first thing that you're gonna need is paper I'm using 140 pound watercolor paper you can use mixed media paper cardstock and printer paper but I would suggest using something a little tougher than printer paper at least something that is 30 pounds or heavier next you're gonna need some tea I'm using black tea rose black tea you can use any black tea Earl Grey English black whatever it's called um, and some coffee depending on your drawing method you're gonna want a pan or a tarp this is just to lay your paper on to dry. You could literally use your floor if you wanted to, or you know, paper towels or a towel. I'm using an oven safe pan because I will be showing you guys how to dry your paper in an oven. And the glass container is to dip my paper in so that I can actually dye it. Very quick disclaimer. If you are irresponsible, please do this with a parent or an adult because we're going to be using fire and an oven. The process is really simple. We're just going to begin pouring our tea into our container and get right into dyeing our paper. For my larger pieces of paper, I dipped one half at a time because it was kind of impossible to dip it all at the same time, but I did let the middle soak like as much as I could and you kind of just want to jam it in there. It doesn't really matter if you bend your paper a bit because once it dries, it's going to be very warped. Um, I just iron mine if I want it to be iron. If you don't want it to be iron, you don't have to iron it. But. Uh, just keep in mind that it's going to be warped but once you iron it if you want to paint over it it will not warp while you're painting it like you'll have your paper in the same condition that you finished using it in because it was already wet i'm going to stop rambling okay just just watch <laughs> the part where you take your paper out and you dry it if you don't want to use your oven you can just lay your paper on a pan or a tarp like I said before and you could leave it out for maybe an hour before it's completely dry but you want to let it completely dry especially if you're not using heavy paper like I'm using if you're using a thinner paper please wait for it to dry before you like handle it on the other hand if you want to be real quick with it go ahead and set your oven to 290 fahrenheit and uh, pop it in the oven for about maybe five to ten minutes and it should be dry by then depending on the size of your paper It might be lighter than what you anticipated. If this is the case, you can re-soak it or just soak yours longer than I did. I don't mind it being really light because these are very small pieces of paper, but I'm gonna show you how to darken it up with some charcoal and this is the optional part of the video. But I like to use like um, charcoal or chalk. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my burnt sienna and burnt umber. Um, I can't remember what the 
the crayon thing is called, the, the skinny burnt sienna colored one, but my drawing teacher used a specific word for it. Don't matter, you can literally use like <laughs> any chalk pastels for this. And I also have a brush, and I'm just drawing on the edge or coloring the edges of it with the burnt sienna one, and then brushing it out with my burnt umber one. step this is if you want to make it kind of look like you have a burnt page uh, you're gonna use some fire you can use a match or whatever this thing is called sis I really don't know what it's called but I just kind of want to burn the corners so that's what I'm gonna do make sure you have a bowl of water on hand you can't see my water yet but light that mess on fire so after I burned my paper and I dipped it in water I put it back in the oven to dry you don't have to do this but that's what I did um, just so I can hurry up and get the video done and the paper finished but anyway I went back in with my chalk pastels and my crayon thing and I kind of made the burning effect a little more dramatic <laughs> So here's the finished product. I really like this second piece of paper that I'm about to show because it has that line upper area that was there before, like when I started the painting, or not the painting, but when I started making the paper, it was already there. So if you want to like draw lines with color pencil and then tr like attempt to erase it, it'll definitely help with the old effect. <laughs> enjoyed this little tutorial I guess this is my first art tutorial on this page and if you really liked it please like and subscribe and comment and let me know if you want to see any other tutorials that are related to art because I'd love to do them